Today on our 1997 Chevy 1500, we will be installing the Kurt Trailer Hitch, part number C14081. Here's what the hitch looks like installed. Here are some measurements to help you pick out accessories like ball mounts, cargo carriers, and bike racks. From the center of the hitch pinhole to the outer edge of the bumper is three and three quarter inches. And from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 20 inches. Now we'll show you how to install the hitch. The first step to installing our hitch is removing this bolt on the passenger side and this bolt over on the driver's side. There are six mounting locations on the hitch. The first two holes we'll be working with is the large hole nearest to the front of the vehicle and this hole right here between these two supports. The hardware we will be using is a half inch carriage bolt, a half inch flange nut, and this block. Take our block, put it in place, drop the carriage bolt through. We'll do that for the remaining mounting locations. We will then move to the driver's side of the vehicle and repeat the process. Now it's time to set the hitch in place. This is when it helps to have another person around to help you get the hitch onto the vehicle. And depending on the make, model, and options of your vehicle, you may have to reuse the factory hardware or the factory weld nut. This time we'll be using new hardware, but the existing factory weld nut. On our truck, we'll be using this new M12 bolt and this conical tooth washer. When we put this in place, we wanna make sure that the teeth of the washer are facing up towards the hitch. We'll start over here on the passenger side. Now we'll tighten down all the hardware and then we'll torque it to the amount recommended in the instructions. And then we'll conclude today's installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch, part number C14081 on our 1997 Chevy 1500.